Dear students, welcome and thank you for tuning in for this video. We are continuing our discussion about polymers. In this video, we're going to continue the historical progression, temporal progression of concepts and the theories that led us to the modern polymer science and modern polymer theory. We talked about how chemists were actually avoiding working on uh, polymers and plastics at the beginning. However, Herman Staudinger uh, was a highly respected organic chemist uh, and who, against the advice of his academic uh, peers, devoted his interest into what, is call, what was called Schmering Chemie, describing uh, Greece chemistry. Uh, because people would, were not, uh, you know, interested in, in the science. In 1924, uh, Staudinger actually research uh, led to the description of uh, uh, what he was calling high molecular weight covalently bonded molecules, rather than describing colloids as just colloids and uh, macromolecules. He came up with with the term macromolecule. He was the first uh, one to describe these compounds as macromolecules. In order, in order to distinguish them from colloids. So he was trying to separate polymers and plastics from colloids. This view made it possible to understand how these large molecules, molecules could be synthesized uh, by something called ad the addition reaction. And simply the addition reaction is in, or in organic chemistry uh, where you have two or more molecules combined to form a larger one. Staudinger was the first one to um, describe those macromolecules actually to distinct them from colloids. And this is a picture of uh, Staudinger. This is where he described the macromolecules for the first time uh, in one of the publications that he did. And in 1953, he got uh, the Nobel Prize, and also two of his students actually got Nobel Prize. That's how important his work and uh, his research was to the field of, of polymers. It was well recognized uh, among scientists everywhere. We, we now have a description of macromolecules, which are different from colloids, and we need to learn more and more about these ma ma macromolecules and underst understand how can we how can we synthesize them and process them for different applications. So the early uh, macromolecular theory uh, with the covalent chain uh, concept developed by Staudinger, it was possible to consider theoretical consequences of the structure. So in 1930, another scientist, Warner Cohn, and he published the first application of statistical methods and analysis to describe molecular weight distribution in degraded cellulose. Uh, which is, you know, considered a polymer. So the molecular weight was then introduced. Uh, because uh, Keep in mind that mol uh, polymers, we need to learn about um, the length of the polymer and we need to learn about the uh, molecular weight and we need to learn about the cross-linking. In 1930, uh, molecular weight was first introduced. And like organic chemistry or of small molecules, the complexity of macromolecules uh, are too great for uh, direct detection of properties from the mo molecular structures. So these complexities can only be approached by statistical methods. And um, that it was the bridge between statistics and chemistry. And that was a very important uh, merge and you know collaboration that led to further understanding of polymers and what they are and how can they uh, produce, processed and um, you know, for the different applications that we, we want them to be. I will continue in the uh, following video talking about the modern, actually, polymer science and modern polymer theory. And it, well, I thought that it's very important to understand how the field progressed till the moment that we have uh, the full understanding of these um, molecules and these structures. Thank you for watching. Until the next video. Bye.